In this exercise, we're being asked to find the equation of a plane that has a few unique properties to it. It says that your plane contains the point P, which is the point 525, and there's also a line that they tell us is embedded in that plane, which, which means it runs inside of that plane. This line is contained inside of inside of the plane here, and that's the line x equals 3 minus 2t, y equals negative 5 plus t, and z equals 1 plus 3t here. Now when you you know think back to when we were talking about equations of planes, we needed two things to write the equation of a plane down. We needed a point in the plane, any point in the plane, which we which we have provided to us. And then we also needed a normal vector for the plane. That, that was a, a vector that met the plane at a right angle. Now, to me, that seems to be the thing that's missing. Now, when you look at this line, there is a vector that's related to this line. You remember when we were discussing a, a line in space, there was a, a vector um, that came into question, uh, the vector ABC, which in our case is negative 2, comma, 1, comma, 3. This was x naught plus at, y naught plus bt, and z naught plus ct, as you know. And the vector abc was a direction vector for the line. So that, that's a vector. I don't know if that's the one we need or not, but it was a vector. Um, and so if you look, that line has a direction vector like this. But you notice that vector is not orthogonal to the plane, it's inside of the plane. It doesn't meet the plane at a right angle. So this is the one where I'm really getting stuck. So I'm gonna ask you a question. How on earth do you think we can find a vector with the information that's been given to us, find a vector that is orthogonal to our plane? Pause the video if you need to to think about it, but, um, but I'm gonna share with you how, how to find this guy. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this vector similar to how we got it in the last video. We're gonna find two vectors that are in the plane. Uh, we already have one, by the way. This, this vector here is in the plane, but we need one other vector that's in the plane. And then we're gonna take their cross product because as you know, when you take the cross product of two vectors, it's gonna give you a third vector, a new vector, that's gonna be orthogonal to both of the other two vectors. And so that would be the guy that, that we're after here. So one of our vectors is two, negative two, one, three, but who's the other vector? Well, this line here can reveal a lot of the different points that are on your line. Um, a lot of the, I'm sorry, a lot of the points that are in your plane because all the points on the line are in the plane. And then we also have another point in the plane, this 525 point here. So what, what can we do? Well, we're gonna create a, a second vector in addition to this one that's in our plane from P to some point on the line. It doesn't really even matter what point that is. Now, one easy point that I can already tell is on my line is x naught, y naught, z naught, if you recall um, from when we were talking about equations of lines in space. So three comma negative five comma one, that's a point that's on our line. And of course, as a result, that also means it's in the plane since the line is in the plane. All right, so let me get rid of some of this stuff here and uh, make some space so we can write a few things down. All right, so here I've, I've copied a few of the things down. The point P was the 525 point that was provided. The 3, negative 5, 1 point was a, a point on the line. This is a point on the line. And then we have uh, the vector V here, negative 2, 1, 3, and that was the vector that was in the plane. So let's make, also make sure we're keeping straight points versus vectors. So first up, let's create a vector, we'll call it PQ. To do this, we'll write it in component form and to, to change a line segment into a vector in component form, you'll do terminal minus initial. So three minus five is negative two for the ith component. Negative five minus two is negative seven for the jth component. And one minus five is negative four for the kth component. So this is a vector in the plane, and this is a vector in the plane. So if you had a plane that looks something kind of like this, what we just found 
our two vectors, like this guy and this guy, for example, we just found two vectors, him and him, that are both in the plane. And what I'm about to do is take their cross product, which will give me a vector that's orthogonal to the plane. So let me see if I can squeeze that in here. We'll take PQ cross V, which we'll get by taking a three by three determinant, I, J, K, and then negative two, negative seven, negative four, and negative two, one, three. Uh, I'm gonna skip some of the basic arithmetic algebra type stuff just to speed things along. The ith component will be negative 21 plus 4, negative 21 plus 4, so that would be negative 17i. The jth component will be minus 6 minus 8, minus 6 minus 8, so that would be minus 14. But you remember the jth component, you have to change the sign, so it would be plus 14. J. And then the kth component will be negative 2 minus 14, which will be negative 16k. And that guy is our normal vector to the plane. That was the one that was so difficult to find, and we found it. In the equation of the plane, this is going to be like our a, b, c normal vector for the plane. So we're pretty much done. Just have to write down the final answer. So the final answer would be a x minus x naught, which would be negative 17 um, x minus some x, y, z point that's in the plane. You could take p or you could take q. It doesn't really matter. I'll just take 5, 2, 5. So we'll do negative 17 times x minus 5 plus 14 times y minus 2 minus 16 times z minus 5 equals zero. So this is, of course, the equation of a plane given a point in the plane and a normal vector to the plane. So uh, yeah, some of these problems you just have to be a little creative um, with you know how to get the things that you need. Um, just remember on, a, on this most basic level to write the equation of a plane, <clears throat> you just need a point in the plane and a normal vector. If one of those things is not immediately given or obviously given, you probably have to do something creative, something clever to get what you need. But basically, once you have these two things, then it's, it's pretty straightforward. You just take those two things and plug them in and uh, in your standard form for the equation of a plane and you're done.